And bonsoir to the monde. Welcome back to Tom Plays Europe Universalis 4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with France. Fairly recovered from the war and trying to decide where to attack next. Basically. And I see Great Britain has got Spain back as a friend. That's annoying. Okay. The Ottomans, as usual, are not willing to help. Well, well to be fair, they do have a truce with Spain. So, I can kind of see the point. Surprised we don't touch them. Okay, that must be hurting their diplomatic power a bit. Okay. What other options do we have? Commonwealth. Commonwealth, of course. Apple steak. Well, that is clearly a way to allow us to fight Great Britain without having to worry about Spain. So it might be our best option, because the other allies look quite small. So let's see if we can get... army down there. Another army over to Great Britain. We should have an army in the Americas, and another army here. For Zimbabwe. Yeah, same allies as last time. So probably going to need mercenaries. As before, although again we don't necessarily need to push it too far. And what do we have over here? Of our less effective. Okay, cool. make sure all of these armies actually have generals. They do not all have generals. Okay. Do they all have generals now? So you're skill free, you're skill free. Yeah, okay, cool. I think that will probably do it. Okay. So, three wars in relatively quick succession. This one is imperialism. And it would help if we had at least one diplomat, but we're about to get one back, so that's fine. I don't know if there's anything else we need to worry about, particularly. Just employ mercenaries as needed. Okay, Imperialism. So you, my friend, are going to go straight in for a castle. Because I think they should be big enough that they're unassailable. But hopefully there are enough of our own colonies around that we're not going to need to worry too much. you know, the day to day. Okay, you head over there. And we are going to attack Zimbabwe as well. No, we're not, because it's going to take us a while for our diplomats to get back, which is fair enough. So who is this? Because 
is about 200, so I don't think you really need us to still be doing things. Okay, cool. Trying to work out which wars light is he going longest. against mosquito but probably it doesn't matter that much so what can we do imperialism we can hang on apparently we've got a truce didn't expect that very unwelcome but fine had not noticed we saw a truce for papal state go for imperialism every time because we get fewer penalties. Yeah, this infiltration thing seems to be new. It seems like you declare war on people and suddenly you're infiltrating them right, left and centre. Right. 1809 for the Papal States, okay. So if we attack you, is everyone going to join in? They are, or at least more people than I would like are. Not everyone, though. Hmm. Do we really want to be fighting Spain and Britain at the same time? Doesn't massively appeal. Especially because we're probably going to need some mercenaries for Zimbabwe. I'm wondering if this might be pushing it a little too much. Negotiating for now. Great person will join in with this, and not many other people will. So maybe we should do this one instead. Still Spain and Great Britain, but at least we don't need to worry about the papal state. Yeah, we'll go, we go straight in for Toledo. Start taking British lands. Send them straight up there to Harry Great Britain. Right, so we've got our free wars going. The Papal State gets to live another day and we get to run away because that is overwhelming. Okay, so we know where we need the mercenaries, which we pretty much knew in any case. Nonetheless, and they've actually managed to pull quite a few troops out of the bag there. That's impressive. Okay. Right, so I'm probably going to be <laughs> skipping around quite a bit, so I might not be. Uh, Moving quite as fast as I would have been. Oh, hold it. Hold it. I have no interest in fighting them. Thank you very much. I think I shall leave them for Great Britain to deal with. But I will head up and try and help Scotland. Because with Scotland we should have the edge in terms of numbers. So... Especially if we can somehow get Great Britain to fight their own revolutionaries. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to need yet more generals for this. You cannot overcome the power of excessive money.
try risking it and hoping Scotland actually join in. I mean, it's looking kind of hopeful. Uh, strength of the throne, publishing knowledge of world. Right, let's strength of the throne because our prestige will probably go up as winning all of these battles. Excellent. Cool. Right, so that should break the power of the British Army to some extent. Spanish Army there is a little bigger than ours, but not much bigger. Popo, and then we'll take it from there. So last time they all went over in that direction. As in the Allies. But this time they seem to be coming down to join in. Which in some ways I kind of prefer, to be fair. Right, well I guess I will start taking land, and lots of it. I don't know if that's going to officially belong to Scotland when they take it. But it's too late now anyway because they've already moved their army in there. Spain as well. So we may want to use our American army to help with some of the Spanish colonies. Okay, it looks like Scotland has arisen up here. Yeah, they have actually taken this. It's possibly not as big a deal because they are very firmly on our side. But still. Okay, do want to come and deal with some of these armies, but better to finish that siege first if we possibly can. to take out Kazembe's army. <laughs> Still not the uh, actual mission though, is it? At least it's progressing. Slowly. But it is progressing. Right, let's see if we can eliminate this army. Pretty sure we can. There's more where they're going to run away. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Over to Toledo. Very nice of you to. Oh, hang on. Let's take these guys down first. They're butchering our allies. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. We'll probably get a better opportunity, really, to take down the big army. Ok, 
Okay, while we're at it, you move on to Zimbabwe. Maybe we're at this if we end up fighting them. In because it has a castle. I don't know where their army has gone though, and we're not going to make any progress without taking that castle, so. But who wants peace? For our tech. Uh, sure. I don't know who you are. So, under the circumstances, I am disinclined to object to making peace with you. Do we want to try to take down this army while we're at it? Oh, really? Really? Hang on, where are you going? Okay, looks like we've taken Quark. Good. Ilhan. Also good. I'm not even sure how we got here. Honestly, but I will. Oh, right, that's the capital. Excellent. Right, well, I'll go and take another castle because I'm a little distracted right now. I don't think there's much left in terms of the British Navy, so I'm going to go and park up to repair a little. And then we will come down for Spain. Okay, well this is good. It would appear that we managed to take the castle of Zimbabwe very, very quickly. So I'm going to split the army up. Hopefully I'll notice if one of them gets attacked. We'll see. And um, yeah, what else can we do? Well, it looks like Scotland is happily taking the pale. Sorry, Ireland. So maybe we should actually try to deal with these revolutionaries now. Where are you going? Cork. All right, fine. Well, that's a good place to deal with them then. I will leave my army there. For there is a castle. Right, how are we doing with Spain up here? Yeah, could go either way really. I think we've got the advantage. And if it turns out we haven't, then we can doubtless deal with them. But there's no Spain in South America, so... South America's coming up to help, which is good. I'm just thinking with Spain involved as well, we might want to send our nice big army up here to help with them as well. Not just focusing on the Central Americans. Oh, that's good. I'm making life difficult for French in Australia. completely forgotten about this army. Okay, if we move them across. We'll go oh, hang on. Take out that army first. Before we do anything else, I think. Worried of, oh, there their armies are. Right, brilliant. So we can hopefully get them to capitulate relatively quickly. We'll bring our ships around here. And right, so we've done Cork. Where are you going? Also going to Cork. Brilliant. So we can take down the revolutionaries in one go. <coughs> Excuse me. And hopefully finish this off. Right, you are seeking a castle. That's fine. Down in Australia. Start freeing up some territories down here. Might just make a single infantry just there. 
just to take these lands because there's no one there at the moment, so worth a try. Okay, gender's about to expire. Well, to be fair, we've given it our best shot. It's an inquisitor you need then, is it? But without the right advisors, it turned out to just not be possible. It's 17, yeah, we're never going to manage it in time. Not to worry. Okay, so. Right, yes, I really need you guys to stop um, giving me alerts for five seconds. Right, okay, so if we occupy each of these capital cities, hopefully we can get Zimbabwe's allies to capitulate before they run us. And it looks like we actually won the naval battle this time, which is fantastic. Improvement on last time. force this navy to set off. We may discover that it absolutely crushes our navy and backfires but we do have 45 heavy ships and some of those will be three deckers, some of them will be two deckers but despite the difference in numbers I'm kind of betting that we will win should stand us in good stead. Okay, brilliant. So let's go take the remaining English provinces. We did invade Spain, so we can probably get Britain to capitulate first. And then moving further away, so we should be safe to siege their capital cities. Without worrying about ending up fighting. Right, we're going to have to go and interfere with Toledo. Will they free it, but may as well set this navy off first. So we've taken that, their navy sets off, hopefully gets around to bits by our navy. While we head there to fight them while this castle is still ours. Naval battles do take a while. As a rule, though. Is this Alaska? This actually is Alaska. Okay, so that's our final taxis option. Well, maybe we won't win the naval battle. We just need a stronger navy for the future in that case. Lost our Admiral as well. Maybe that's the problem, our Admiral wasn't as good. Free Toledo, is there a castle here? There is not. There is a big army, but maybe we would be better off freeing Leon? Hmm, don't know. On that one. Is this Spain? Well, Tierra Austral. Brilliant. We've also taken York, which is good. Let's take this piece of land. And start taking Wales back. Well, we'll start at Shrewsbury, but then we'll take Wales back. Hopefully, Scotland will finish Ireland. Now we should be in a pretty good position then. Do we have? We're still sieging this city here. Yeah, it looks like we did indeed lose the naval battle. Amazingly. Okay, so they've got much further to go on their siege than we have, so we should just stay put for now. Can always relieve them in a bit. How are we doing? Fairly inconclusive still. Oh, I managed 
to sneak in behind me. Well, not complaining. It means we can fight them on a castle that belongs to us. Like a great. So great, let's keep going. Oh, we want to keep going. We don't. Maybe we want to try and take them down. Later, we have won that one. Let's free Leon. While we're at it, free the capital, I mean. So once again our navy's taking a massive beating. Still not big enough. Zombies moving up. Yep, yeah, that's not good news. That's slightly less good news even. Castle is about to fall, naturally. They're doing better than I would have expected, and I'm never going to get to them in time, unfortunately. Because if I had noticed in time and got to them, we'd not have been able to help. Provence really are really good allies. Hoping that we will take the castle before anything else happens now. Okay, so we took down their army, which should help us a bit. We will. Our best option here. Let's move around there. Just to cause them a bit. Taken that area now as well, which is great. So I will. Head down here. Where are they going? Hard oh, to put these revolutionaries down, isn't it? Okay, let's go for the chief one for now. So it won't take much longer. our army rebuilding. I don't we'll get there in time anyway. Not to worry, how are we doing up here? Not great. Move all of you into one province because at least then you'll have some kind of ability to put up a fight. Also worth checking that we can't already sue for peace. I don't think so. We'll need the castles to fall. Speaking of... Will you make peace now? You will. That is wonderful news. Difficult as possible for them. Right, we get back onto our territory, although I don't think you're actually exiled as such. But never mind, I'll leave it for now. Okay. Unfortunately, we do still have. Let's see, Zimbabwe and our army sieging a castle. But I guess if we just take a few more areas, see how it looks then. How are we doing here? Okay, so annoyingly, even though we were way ahead of them. Oh no! 
No, we're still way ahead of them. Sorry, I was misreading that. That means it's occupied by us, so that's good. Excellent, looks like our colonies are making short work of Argentina. I've forgotten actually that of course there is... There are British colonies down there. Right, so my big question is... Uh, legitimacy, I think I should support the mercantilist faction. Mostly I need this. As it stands. Oh, well, if I can get that as well, I will not complain. Okay, brilliant. Alright, so in that case, I think that's my actual army. Which means this one is a mercenary army, which we should no longer need. That's it, we should take that Spanish possession, shouldn't we? And this one is also a mercenary army which we no longer need. Okay, brilliant. So them into court. Right, so that's one war done with. I can't give them another general yet. So, what have we got? We've got a lot of things being seeded. Uh, I'm to give these cores back to Scotland. To be fair, I can sort of see the point. But let's go with it, it's fine. Kind of feels like we haven't ourselves gained that much because it's all gone to other people, but I suppose it'll save us from some coring, at least. Brilliant. Right, so who's a really good general? Neither of those two particularly. This one looks pretty good to me, personally. So let's see if we can relieve that siege. They're running away, that's a good sign. Always a good sign. can actually make peace and just get a little bit of land. They might be intelligent enough to realise they're actually winning this current war. But we'll see. Current battle, sorry. Oh, maybe it wasn't them who was making peace. Was it these people? No, apparently not. I am deeply confused. No, they've probably just decided they didn't want peace after all. Because they are beating us now. Where are they? Apparently they're actually not beating us, which was a surprise. sieging that castle. We should have taken quite a bit of Argentina away. Doesn't really feel like we got enough out of that, but not to worry. I'm 
sure we can still make moves on Ireland. And at least Scotland looks intact now. So. Diplomat in Holland has been caught. Okay. if we get the chance. This has got a lot simpler now. I don't really like attacking them across a river. So just creep into Coimbra and then attack him from there. No problem. I think I'd have noticed that really. I'm going to see something to them. Well, I mean it's appreciated because it is what we want, but I was kind of hoping for more than one province, in all honesty. Especially because it kind of looks like... Okay, well that's two provinces, you see. It's a bit better. I was more thinking along these sorts of lines. Like, a lot of provinces. So normally this would be a really bad idea because you're going to have rebellions everywhere. But on this occasion, because we're going to have an army right here to help, that should do. Supply, if, actually, we could do it somewhere more central if possible. 54, 62, okay. Because basically, um, I'm expecting a bunch of rebellions to pop up, but I'm going to actually swat them down myself rather than just expecting French Mexico to deal with it. So who's this? Oh, that's French California. Yeah, that's a bit weird. <laughs> oh, fine. Right, so in theory... See, I'm moving there now, but I'm forgetting, of course, that we still need to conquer Pacifico Norte, so we should head over there. But we do have 73% on these guys now, so... Should probably be moving this to a close, to be fair. So let's see what we can get. So if we suggest demands, they're going to lose a lot of their interest in the area, but they're also going to cede a load of stuff. Do they not have any other claims? Seems a little disappointing. Go with that. You do have to be a bit careful not following the recommended coring process. Florida has a higher liberty design, do they? Well, I think they already have quite a high opinion of us, but I will try to improve it anyway. Right, so now let's take you back down there. That was enough supply limit. Oh, 
course they'll have seeded some stuff to uh, tear our struggles, won't they? It's fine. I'm in particular, Sardinian particularists, that's fine. Probably not in a position to deal with most of these right now. I was expecting uh, rebellions, but I was kind of expecting separatists. Not quite as concerned about these people. Right, let's come up here. So the other thing we want to do, as soon as it will allow us, is send a colonist. Because that is precisely the point of the war in Zimbabwe. So we will need to get our surprisingly successful navy and go pick up a colonial army. And ultimately, I suppose we want to pick up all the colonial armies if we can. So it looks like we've got another merchant. I thought we had them all. So it's either French Mexico or Terostrel. So, okay, let's see where we can put merchants. Bordeaux is an option, but I'm pretty sure we own all of that territory anyway, so I don't really see much point. Amazonas is an option, and Rio Grande. I'm half tempted by Sevilla now. Although there's nowhere really useful we can send that. Is Valencia more useful to us? Let's just check the map. No, oh, Valencia kind of is more useful actually. This is Genoa. We do tend to be kind of in order of value so I partly wonder if I should do Amazonas anyway yeah we've got Genoa haven't we ah, I might be severe so a transfer transfer trade power. So if I was really concerned, I would sit here with the finance screen open, see what effect it had when the merchant appears, maybe compare it, possibly change this one to be transferring trade to Genoa rather than collecting it. That sort of thing. But yeah, we're definitely transferring trade this time and I can't honestly say I've noticed much difference in the income or is that Oh right, there we go. There's the difference. This is about eight ducats overall. But we've got so much income at the moment, but I'm not particularly concerned. Main concern at the moment is rebuilding the navy, because once again it has lost. Extremely annoying. And um, possibly trying to make yet another army that will allow us to take on the might of the Holy Roman Empire. As we still at present only actually have one European army. And while I think the others are probably okay, the other armies, the European one on its own isn't going to cut it. And while we've obviously got the Great British one backing us up, Ooh, that's a lot of manpower. Straight to the... Okay. Bengal is no longer a good rival for us. Fine. So we need to remove the embargo. I have a feeling... Revoke the embargo. I have a feeling someone else rivaled us. No, I'm wrong. The only possible rival is the Ottomans, and we don't want to rival them if we can avoid it. They are our best allies still, despite not being very helpful in our wars for quite some time. 
Okay, Great Britain, we can fabricate some claims. So let's get York again. Let's get Shrewsbury, because those are the obvious ones. Spain, ditto. We should start doing claims again. We can get Madrid. That's got to be a valuable province, surely. Brilliant. May never get a chance to use them. If that one is a truce run out. Yeah, we're never going to deliberately use them. But you never know. Maybe we'll end up at war anyway. But yes, I think for the time being, maybe we should actually stop building the spy networks. Because we've got a couple of provinces each for those places. I think we particularly need anything else. I uh, should have room for more claims on Japan. Went in completely the wrong direction to get there. Okay, that was probably enough claims on Japan to be fair. the agenda. Eighteen ten. Trying to think what we can do to improve this development. So is that because it's not developed? Can we develop it and that will make things better? Midnapore, and it's sunny. Probably means it's over here somewhere, maybe. Or possibly up in Siberia. Oh, there we go. I don't know, because it's actually quite developed. Although it is a bit devastated. Hmm. Well, that's sort of a devastation out, at least. Haven't really covered devastation. And it's gone down. Great. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop messing. <laughs> right, fine. Can this take it, incidentally? Oh, it can. Probably take it even better now. Right, never mind. So... We need to get those colonial armies down here so we can start our new round of colonising. Other than that, so that's quite a good thing because we can now get back to the colonising. We'll probably be keeping that up to the end of the game because we've only got 10 years left realistically. 11 years? 11 years. Peasants. And how are we doing? So, no progress for us, but progress for Scotland on Great Britain. Moved in on Spain a little. Also took their African possessions. Moved down on Argentina. Took a nice bite out of Central America. I'm definitely not going to finish eating it though. Still, it's not bad. It's looking very blue. Oh, yeah, I should technically be getting at you the mainland. I want you to go over there because then you can pick up your compatriots. Right, okay, brilliant. I think I will leave it there for now. I'm not sure where we're going to go next, but that worked pretty well. Three wars at once can spend a bit of time recovering now. Have all the war exhaustions over already. Close are we to finishing these? Not that close with most of them. 
except for military. But we've got 10 years to go. I wonder if I should just cancel this, but then there's no point, is there? It's about to run out anyway. Never mind. The other two were even worse from what I remember, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. That also belongs to Holland. But it doesn't matter, we shouldn't have any quarrel with Zimbabwe anymore because we just wanted access to these lands. So we can just leave it there. So yeah, I suppose the main place we didn't touch was the Papal State, so we could look at that next time. And possibly their alliances will allow us to take a bit more of Great Britain than Spain. So we'll see how it goes, but I will leave it there for now. Went more or less okay, 11 years till the end. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.